there's a lot of ways that you can give, okay? Um, when the kids from the college or university call us for the donations for some of the things, that's a good place to start. Uh, and they're very happy. Not only do they speak to us on the phone, but, and I mean, my chit chats with them were 20 minutes at least, or more. And a lot of them were, would send a letter or a note saying how pleased they were to talk with us, the kinds of things that we told them, uh, impress them about how they felt about Upper Iowa. And so I've gotten a lot of uh, um, communiques from them. And I still hear from one girl yet uh, who, who just graduated, I think it was last year? Or, yeah, last year. And she still has sent me a note saying what she's doing in her teaching. So, I mean, it, it, it opens a big door if you would just listen to what they have to say about why it would be helpful if we can they never ask for a, a specific amount of money. They always ask us to think about how we enjoyed it and what we did. And now that the campus is larger, um, there's more things that money is necessary for. And I can't, I could never say no to them. And every time, well, like when Miss Meyer passed away, the garden was there, I donated a lot to that. And I, I've donated to a lot of the uh, um, scholarship funds that they have, and because I, I think that's important. And Upper Iowa doesn't just give the scholarship to somebody because they have the highest grades ever. They look at the person, and that's what I appreciated when I was there, that they look at the person. They don't just look at how much, uh, you know, what number you were in your class at graduation. Uh, it was it depends because some of those eastern schools are very very large high schools and I my graduating class when I graduated in 1958 was 850 so according to where I went to high school and those people in Iowa where they went to high school were very very different and they did get a lot of help where we were just numbers and I didn't want that in a college. I did not want to be a number. I wanted somebody to see me and say hello to me and call me by name. And that's what I found it. And I have been very happy. Give if you can give. That's my thing to, um, uh, for people that have graduated that maybe not, do not see anybody or anyone at the college anymore or at the, in the community, but those commu the people in that community were very, very happy about the fact that we were there. I can still remember going over to Mrs. Berger's house um, and, uh, and she welcomed us in there. And we had ladies that baked cakes for us because we didn't have a way to get home to have a happy birthday or anything. They did it. And they were, we came to their house and they had a cake just like your mother would have made for you because they did call mom and ask for a recipe. <laughs> so it was a, a very welcoming t time. And um, I have not seen that in a lot of other colleges or universities. And I've worked in three of them.